Hey amazing artists, Mrs. Parvin here. Just because we can't be together in the same place doesn't mean we can't make art together. This week our theme is going to be all about pattern. What's a pattern you might ask? Well, it's something that repeats, just like the stripes in my sweater, gray and pink, gray and pink. I can't wait to show you some of the ideas I have for you. Patterns are all around us. The most typical kinds of patterns you can find are either shapes that repeat, lines that repeat, or colors that repeat. Start by looking for some patterns around your house. Here are some patterns in my house. I guess I really like patterns since there's a lot in this room. Your first choice for patterns is doing something called a Zen Doodle. A lot of you guys know I love doing Zen Doodles. First of all, it's super relaxing and fun, but second of all, it's a really fun way to experiment with different kinds of patterns. Almost like you're a coloring book designer and you're creating cool areas in which someone can color with just a pencil or a black marker. I can't wait to show you how. Okay, so I have a white piece of paper and a black marker. I also have a ruler here because I'm gonna use a straight edge. The first step is to divide your paper into different sections, almost like a puzzle. Decide what kind of line you wanna to use to make those sections, whether it's a straight line or a curvy line, and use that line across the whole paper until it's filled. Once you have your paper divided, you're gonna start by making a different pattern in each section. This one I'm just using a little curly Q shape, and I'll keep going until I fill the whole area. You're really looking for a lot of variety here, so be super creative and thoughtful about what kind of patterns you're making. Keep going until your entire paper is filled with a variety of patterns. I'm really pleased with the way mine is turning out. I'm gonna leave mine black and white, but if you wanna use colors, you could certainly color some of these sections in or the whole paper. You could also turn this into a puzzle by cutting on those dividing lines that you made at the beginning of the project. Have a lot of fun. I can't wait to see how they look. The second choice you have for a pattern project is something called Mahendi. Mahendi is the art of body designs that are done in India on the hands for special occasions. And they use a lot of beautiful floral patterns and motifs. Let me show you how. Okay, it's important to know that we're not gonna be drawing on our hands. We're gonna be tracing our hands on a piece of paper. This can be tricky sometimes to trace your own hands, so feel free to ask someone to help you. I notice my paper is a little on the small side, but I'm just working around it to get my hand shape on the paper first. Once your hand is drawn on your paper, you can start adding pattern. A lot of Mehendi patterns use circular or curved forms and a lot of floral patterns. So I'm gonna start with a floral-like shape around the big palm of my hand here. Notice I made two curved lines and now I'm starting to add small petals. You can do it any way you want. I'm gonna keep building the pattern by adding more and more lines and shapes. Lots and lots of details in Mahendi, so don't be afraid to get really teeny tiny with your details here. I'm doing a crosshatch style or kind of like a tic-tac-toe board, and then I'm gonna fill it in. So you can also color in some of the areas on your patterns. Now that I've built up some patterns on the base of the hand, I'm gonna start adding some designs to the fingers. This is a really fun thing to do, and I'm actually going to use the same pattern on all five fingers and my thumb. If you want, you can look online and research some different Mahendi patterns. Some of them have these teardrop-like patterns, which I'm adding to my fingers here. I think it looks really beautiful, and I'm going from large to small dots to fill them in. I'm gonna just keep going until I'm really happy with the results. 
The third choice is gonna use a repeating pattern to make something called an optical illusion. An optical illusion means it's playing a trick on your eye to make it seem like it looks three-dimensional, but it's really not, it's just a drawing trick. Let me show you how. Okay, setting your paper up horizontally, you're first gonna start with a horizontal curvy line across the whole paper. Then you're gonna add seven to nine dots on that line all the way across. To start, you're gonna connect the dots with curvy hump lines, going from dot to dot with a little, almost looks like a bump. You're gonna go all the way across, and then the last one, you're just gonna go off the page. Then rotate your paper around and do the exact same thing on the other side until you go all the way across. You're gonna move on to the next row and continue in the same way, making curved lines from dot to dot. You're always going back to that dot as the home base. So keep going all the way across. Notice we're making a pattern here, isn't that cool? And then you can rotate your paper and continue on the other side. Totally fine if you wanna do more than one row at a time, but just keep making the pattern so that it's even. My page is really starting to fill up now. Notice same motion all the way across, but when you get to the top edge of the paper, some of the curves might be smaller and you may actually have to go right off the edge of the page. That's totally fine because we wanna create almost tunnels in between those shapes to make it look like an optical illusion. It's finished. I've gone edge to edge on the paper and I've even started to add some color in some spots with colored pencil and shading. Great job, amazing artists. You are pattern experts now. I hope you stay awesome, keep smiling, and know how much I miss you. Bye.